Here we go. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. Good morning. Today we're off to Epcot. So we're looking forward to going on Spaceship Earth right there. And hopefully test track. Good morning. morning. It's Thursday the 2nd of January. We're going to Epcot. Epcot Magic Bands on. Yes, so I've got mine on but it's been hidden by a jumper. <laughs> it's going to warm up today but right now it's like 13 degrees. Yeah, it's a bit chilly outside. Um, it's half seven and the park opens at eight for extra magic hours. So we're going to get on the Skyliner Sky and head to International <laughs> Gateway. Let's go. Here we go. It's a nice morning. Oh, blue skies. Nice pictures today. Yeah, Epcot, nice sunny pictures. Good morning, Skyliner. Good morning, we missed you yesterday. And we missed you yesterday, yeah. but we're going to get a couple of goes with you today. <laughs> At least a couple. There's the alien. I'm going to wait for it to go. I'm going to try and zoom in. There they are. Ultimate goal is to get that one, but we still need to get the princess and yeah, the frog. The ultimate Luke. aim at this trip is get to get the princess and the frog gondola for Luke. I've had my alien one like three times now. <laughs> yeah, it's the last one we haven't got yet. Yeah, so this is our first time going on the Skyline just after it was open, so it'd be interesting to see if there was like a big line of people waiting. Yeah. So. Skyline at opening hours today. So I actually opened at 7 a.m. this morning for all routes, and actually it closed at 10 p.m. tonight. So um, security at International Gateway was uh, slightly crazy this morning. Yeah, so we're heading to Spaceship Earth. Yes. Today our fast pass is Test Track, and that's our priority for today because we haven't got on it yet this trip. We have not done it once. <laughs> we need to change that. <laughs> we might have gone soaring because I'm wearing my soaring t-shirt. Yeah, that's what I said to you. Looking at it, it's like you have to go on soaring. So normally the trick is that you need to get to Frozen Test Track or soaring first. Yep. Well, we're going to Spaceship Earth because we don't have a fast pass and we want to get on it one more time because we love it because it's closing. Could it be the last time or might, there might be one more? Could be the last time. Yeah. So the Epcot Happy Holidays thing is still there but the Christmas tree has gone. But look at Epcot, it's so different now. Look at that, all the construction. So it's going to be really different when it's all done. Oh, Spaceship Earth, we've missed you. So good. Uh, always looks so good in the sun. Oh, such a fake. And what makes Spaceship Earth even better this morning is there's no queue. Everyone's in the queue for either Soaring, Test Track, or Frozen. <laughs> or oh, no, one's oh, no one's on it. Let's hope it's the latter. Oh, it's running. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we were a little bit concerned like, no it. when it's so quiet. <laughs> we were like, is it running? She's like, yeah, come on in. Oh, we'll come on in. Oh, I love this, love this, love this. So quiet. Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the vehicle. And please watch your children. <laughs> The second door to the 
head missing <laughs> so in a minute we're gonna fly into the world, fly into the world. It was a lovely ride on spaceship earth we had like no like, it must have been like 10 rows in front like 10 <laughs> rows behind no one there and like a third of your head was missing but my head was missing yeah and that's pretty standard i think i normally get that on the side you went on so i think it's better on the right side yeah it's time for our space uh, test track fast pass Yes, let's go down. Oh, it's time for test track. Excited for this first yeah. time. You've got to do it when it's like really nice weather because when it rains, it often goes down. And we have perfect weather today. Hi guys, Hi. Here we go. Such happy memories doing the car last time with Grandad. Oh, my mum, my dad, and Grandad love test track. So oh yeah, we get some really wacky designs. <laughs> now, do I do the car or do you do the car? You both do the car. <laughs> we share the responsibility. You, automatic boarding lock. Look at the flight is hard. Where are we? Here we go, number six. <laughs> Just typing in. Okay, design time. Finding our vehicle right now. Maybe like that and then. Oh. Normally Rich and I are against each other with different families, so we're on the same team today. This is very much a joint effort today, so Luke's taking over now. It's a bit of length. A bit of width for the handling, because that increases the Oh look at you, Mr. Technical. Big wheels going on in our car, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, have you done to the car? <laughs> the full completely design. Rich is going to model it for us. <laughs> what do you think? The wheels are massive. We want to score at least 200. 200 is kind of the marker. I know. So power, capability. So you just scan your ticket or your magic band. And don't do it again because it resets it. Okay, we're going to tap in. Yeah, and scan your one as well. There we go. Going to board right now. Here comes our car. Are we going to win? 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 Here we go. We'll begin with the 
capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to OnStar. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing SIM car off-road and extreme weather sequence. see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Scanning SIM cards for optimal eco efficiency. Uh, Brains not initiate, work lights going on, show on going off. I'm right. Lights on. 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 Lights on.
even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. This natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. We are stopping into Sunshine Seasons for a little break, which can only mean one thing. Where can I have it with you, bye? Yeah. There they are. Oh, yes. So where are we right now? Sunshine Seasons. Look at this, it's so nice and blue up there. It can only mean one thing. Da, da. We'll be bye. It's a really good one as well, look at that. It's so good. And we also got a blueberry muffin. Which looks really good. And a lady was gonna pick it and then she picked a different one and I was like, yes. <laughs> um, let's watch Rich cut into this then. Oh Mickey. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay, we're gonna eat that sugar high. So You're in a sleepy coma now, aren't you? Yeah. Now we need to go on Figment. Figment, fast past time. Let's go. Head in towards Figment and there is a queue. <laughs> we got a fast pass. We got a fast pass. We've been singing. That's how you know a skunk, skunk is not a rose for the last. A scone? A skunk is not a rose for the last half an hour, so you know it's time. I've never seen a lion for Figment that big. <laughs> Here we go. Seriously. Only at Christmas do you see a line for pigment. Yeah, this time in the morning. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing. Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. With your IGMGM team, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. What spark of light can light your fans? The imagination, especially with pleasant, familiar smells, come into play. Come into play? <laughs> I'd love to! Segment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! Imagination! Imagination! Welcome to Imageworks. Oh, someone's playing your game. That's how you know. That's how you know. It's fun, it's not <laughs> a bit busier than last time we were here. It's time for soaring. There's no way we won't go down that with uh, Luke's t shirt on today. <laughs> Heading on to 80 this time. Today we're on glider number one. Number one. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, that smells so much. Nice. <laughs> Just bottle that smell up. Just bottle it up. It smells like the Fiji white sand sent from Buffalo Honey Bones. Yes. So we're now gonna go catch the Skyliner. Yes. Okay, so we're now heading back to the Skyliner. Skyliner! Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get the Skyliner back to our resort and then drive to Wilderness Lodge. For the lunch Whispering, chat. Whispering Canyon. Yes. Yeah. Whispering Wilderness Lodge Canyon is Cafe. such a favourite resort of ours, isn't it? Yeah. Any excuse to go back. It's the number one resort I would like to spend like a whole two weeks at. Definitely. Maybe one day. So just a little bit of update on the sort of wait times right now. So it's just gone 11 a.m. Uh, it's what the second? No. What second day is it? Second of January. Second of January, and the queue times 
are crazy. <laughs> so Figment is what? 40 minutes? 45. 45 minutes right now. So that just says it all. And we've caught a monorail. The weather is on our side today. We are getting some amazing pictures. Literally World Showcase couldn't look any better right now. Look at this view. It's of amazing. I've noticed my hoodie, my jumper has now come off because it is hotting up. Hot. It is hot now, yeah. yeah. Which is a stark contrast to yesterday. That's just like an example of how one day at this time of year it could be quite chilly. Yeah. Next day, so hot. It's gonna be up to 27 today, which is 81. Yeah. I think tomorrow is gonna be 30, which is 86. Yeah, it's creeping up tomorrow, so. Full yeah. time. Full time tomorrow. Walking past the Twining Sea Hut will always remind me of your grandparents because that's actually produced right near them. Yeah, it's quite empty. Right? So empty around here. If you want some quiet time, this is the place to be. Skyline are headed back for Caribbean Beach and then we're gonna jump in the car and head to Wilderness Lodge. And the queue time, there's no queue. <laughs> uh, should be straight on. Should be straight on on this one, yep. Yeah. Right, colour. I'm guessing, I'm gonna go for blue. I'm gonna go yellow. Okay. Supervised children oh, and refrain Skyline. Thank you. Para su seguridad. There's a blue one. <laughs> Thank you. And it's yellow. Did you guess yellow, Luke? Yeah, we got one without any panel on it. And a clear one as well. Sometimes it's nice to have a clear one if you want to film outside. Yeah. And we're saying goodbye to the Ratatouille gondola. We're next. Ready for the launch. Mini launch. Here we go, everyone. We're going to take off. Ready? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Favourite bit. The skyliner from Epcot is one of the best takeoffs because you're suddenly all suddenly over the water. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney Caribbean. We've got the construction for Ratatouille coming September 2020, so this year. Lovely morning in Epcot. Uh, we've got so much done. I mean, if you just, again, just getting early, we were in the park from like sort of 7.50. They'd already let everybody in, and we were around. And got Soon we'll be flying past Disney Boardwalk Inn and Disney Boardwalk Villas. Okay. This charming <laughs> lakeside resort offers <laughs> magical lounges and so we've also got uh, our own gondola, which is hit and miss. Obviously, if it's busy, they will try and get as many people in, which is about eight or nine, isn't it? Yeah, the queue's probably a little bit slower, or when it's quiet, they'll just, they'll just fill one at a time. Time it right. Yeah. Into the turn station. This is where it gets a little bit juddery. <laughs> Ready? Oh. <laughs> Coming up to the Riviera, we have such great memories of Topolino's Terrace. We're feeling like we need to do that again. Yes. If you're thinking about going there, do it. <laughs> Yeah, here we come for the landing. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When so it's a little time lapse from uh, Riviera to Caribbean Beach. Already, yay! I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. How would watch the days? Must be a little uh, video courtesy of Rich. Show time lapse. Yeah. Enjoyed that little uh, time lapse over the Caribbean Beach resort. Oh, I just watched the back quickly, it's really cool. Really cool. So, we now have 20 minutes to get to Wilderness Lodge. So, we're going to grab our resort mugs, grab our car keys, and go! Oh, we're on our way to Wilderness Lodge. I'm so excited. Kingdom Resorts. Head into Magic Kingdom Resorts, we're off to Wilderness Lodge. And the weather is so nice today. Beautiful. And the queue to get in to Magic Kingdom, not too bad. There we go, it's a queue to get into Magic Kingdom, not too bad. So we're just pulling up to the Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna take the right here. Oh, I love this resort so much. We need to stay here again. It is one of our favourites. Here we go. Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Oh, we love it here so much. Luke, we've got to stay here again. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. We're in. All checked in. Very simple. Because I'm dropping Rich, because we're running a little bit late, I'm going to drop Rich off at the lobby and then he's going to run in and secure our reservation. We don't want to be missing out. And then I'll then park up the car. Yes. 
look, oh, look at, at that lobby. <laughs> oh, I missed it so much. I get emotional thinking about this lobby. I know. Look at that lobby. That is just absolutely amazing. Wilderness Lodge, we love you. Okay, so while Luke goes and parks, I'm going to take you in, go and check in and show you a little brief tour of Wilderness Lodge. But we're going to do a proper tour after dinner. Here we go. Oh, and they've still got their Christmas tree as well. So we don't get to miss out on the tree. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's so good. So here we are, Whispering Canyon Cafe at Wilderness Lodge. So literally, as soon as you walk into the main entrance, it's directly to your left. And we've been given a buzzer because we have a UK mobile. So we get a buzzer and when it goes off, we're going to be heading in. This amazing resort. And if we just stroll around, look at that behind us. I was just saying, I'm so pleased you managed to catch the tree here. We're in this lodge before it gets taken down. Look at this. Ballet parked with our Tables in Wonderland card. It's normally $33 a day, but you get it included with Tables in Wonderland. So that was really convenient pulling up and just letting them take the keys. Especially when you're in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to go for a little walk around the lobby, but we were just told by the car center that we're going to be buzzed in the next couple of minutes. But just to let you guys know that the buzzer actually works in the majority of the lobby area. So if you are waiting for your table, definitely go for a wonder. Don't worry about the buzzer not working. Just don't go outside. This is like the waiting area here, but they have this cool um, like Lego brick section right here for the kids. And they have the nice waiting area and there's Luke. And let's just give you guys an idea of the, the lunch menu. This is what it's all about. Right there, all the goodness. Okay, as we got called, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a closer look at the menu. So we've got some starters here. So we've got some nachos. Nachos? All you care to enjoy, a signature skillet. Exactly. Look at that. Oh, imagine that for your Some sandwiches, some main entrees, skillet burger, some salad. You need any more chairs? So we have a great server. <laughs> Don't come here expecting good service because it's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I see reviews online, people are like, oh, service was terrible. It's, like, no, it's, it's part of the act, yeah, you've got to go with it. <laughs> still do the ketchup trip here, and if you watched our last visit here, which I think was January 2018, and uh, you have to ask to shout for ketchup, and then they bring all the ketchup. bring you ketchup. Yeah, they still do that, yeah, if you want it, yeah. But it's a nice restaurant in here. Lunch has just started, so it's pretty quiet. Look at these nachos. Oh, wow. Are you going to have some? I think I will. <laughs> Luke's going to have to share these. <laughs> I did so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Luke got a refresh of his Diet Coke, and it is huge. Have you got those straw. straws? <laughs> <laughs> no paper straws. No paper straws, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here are the burgers. Excuse the little mess here. I, I've given Luke my coleslaw. <laughs> so you got a surprise. I've got the poor pork. Yep, it comes with like a vinegar barbecue sauce. Looks good. And I've gone for the palm-based burger mm -hmm. with cheese, and I've acquired some coleslaw. <laughs> That's my coleslaw. Yeah. And I've got my massive diet coke. Still on. going with the coke. We've got all the ketchup being brought to the table. And pony rides galore. Yeah. <laughs> so over there you can get a um, little toy pony to ride. It's so cool. Any ketchup today? Not today, but, but every, clearly the whole restaurant needs ketchup. Everyone's been shouting, we want ketchup. Very funny. Really great meal, Whispering Canyon. It's a very loud restaurant, but it's really funny. Yes. And some of the servers are just hilarious. Uh, the guy serving us was so much fun. Hilariously bad. Yeah. <laughs> Hilariously <laughs> bad. But yeah, don't make complaints because it's all within the theme. And yeah, yeah. if you want ketchup, just ask me you want ketchup. But you all oh, have to shout it. Then everyone around the restaurant brings you the ketchup. But the, all the corner tricks, they said they turned it down, but it hasn't. It's all back to normal. It's yeah. brilliant. So don't worry, if you're thinking about it, they've turned it down, they have not. It's in full swing. It was great value. Yeah. Real resort vibes. We stayed here for one night in oh, September 2018. 2018, I want to say. Oh, yeah. Had an amazing stay. It's the one resort that we really want to come back to. We only did one night here, didn't we? Like, one night, it wasn't enough. Nowhere near. While we're here, we're going to make the most of it for a little explore outside, see the pool. Uh, and also, you can bring your resort mugs. 
and you can refill them at any Disney resort. So we bought ours to fill up a Roaring Pool. Let's go. So one nice thing about this resort is there's just so many lovely seating areas around. There's a lovely little rocking area seat here. And you can just sort of come out and see all the the lodge and this the water. All the way down to the pool. You are a pin collector. We always get amazing pins here. Yeah, let's have a look at the Yeah. Start that. Saying this is a great place to get pins at Wilderness Lodge, and Luke has just spotted. Oh, there's a Pixar one, well, and it's got there. Alien on it. You want to get that one? Oh, I think we might. and it's got Eve on there as well from Wally. -E. Oh, I think we we'll have to get that one. How much is it? It's silver. Silver is nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, we're getting this one. This time last year we came for our meal at Artist Point with the um, Snow White characters. Another reason, another reason to come to Wilderness Lodge is for Arthur's Point. Oh, it is nice and warm it's out nice here. and warm. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I love it's it. I'd love to be sitting on one of those balconies. That would be nice. Oh, we're feeling a bit emotional right now because we really, really want to stay here again. Just seeing the pool. Look at that face. Oh, sad face. I, I know, we will stay here again. Just not sure when. But we're gonna we're gonna go to this lookout oh. and show you guys. If you've never been here before, oh. it's just yeah. I have so many happy memories from this resort. We've spent so much. We're only here for one night, but spent so much time <laughs> in the pool. They've got a great slide, and just the whole atmosphere is just incredible here. I love this it. This lodge is obviously the re resort for us. Um, what about you guys? Comment below. Let us know what's the resort there. You go to or you stay there and you just would stay there every time if you could i think everyone's got that one resort that has all those memories that pulls them back and says yeah that's the one that i really want to go back yeah, to yeah this one is definitely this the one for me let's go see the geezer oh look at that pool and that slide I've got memories of going down the slide so amazing there's a great kids pool area over here just down here is um the hot tubs there's people in there right now so i won't film right down there now but so nice looking out to the uh they've cool got a geezer area. point bar and grill just right over there That's amazing right views the right on the river and then around here is where the geezers go off lots of boats out on the lake today everyone's renting boats yeah and then if you keep walking around here this will take you all the way around to where you get the boat to magic kingdom yeah we need to do a shout out for these ducks these ducks have the life they are winning right now <laughs> just chilling out at wilderness lodge we'll come down and have a close look at geezer point bar and grill look at the uh just like the theming inside in itself is amazing but obviously you get these amazing views there's some seating around here as well looking out into the lake oh wow the smell right now i know we've just eaten but that smell is so delicious fun. barbecue food and the um what's it called comes here uh, uh, the pageant. pageant yeah yep so the water pageant comes around here as well oh what is that fluffy. hey mr fluffy oh it's fucking up look or missus <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Just chilling at Disney. It's really good. It's a great novelty to the resort, isn't it? Yeah. Gonna go in Roaring Fork and uh, I think it's called Roaring Fork. I'm sure it is. We've been calling it Roaring Fork all day. <laughs> We're gonna go to Roaring Fork and get a <laughs> And we'll let you know if it's actually called Roaring Fork. <laughs> it's called Roaring Fork. Heading <laughs> into Roaring Fork to use our resort maps. You can use them at any resort. Fully prepared today. And we're also going to see if there's any bakery items because when we stayed here last time they have some really good cakes, muffins and oh. Last time we had this really nice, very very sweet mini cupcake 
What do they have this Look at time? That cupcake campfire. Oh, one. Campfire cupcake. Oh, God, marshmallow and chocolate. That's too cute. Oh yes, it's happening. But they also do some colourful donuts here as well. And they also do oh wow, the Mickey like brownie. And then they've got the traditional um, confetti Mickey cookies as well. So good. Cute little cupcake holders that we can put it in. Uh, oh, just a little bit. We've got the pictures before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've also got these Star Wars um, freestyle drinks as well. Refillable cups. So good. I'm obsessed with this cupcake. Luke can't quite get over how <laughs> cute the cupcake is. The marshmallow, yeah, does it for me. So, yeah, raw and pork for yeah. cupcakes and stuff. Yes, got to be done. So, worth it. so, we've got some fun facts about Disney's Wilderness Lodge gingerbread cabin. Gives you all of the ingredients. Wow, 40 eggs. 30 pounds of almond paste, 50 pounds of fondant. And, and I Luke got, got the pin. The costume yeah. was so nice. She's like, I'm so sorry, my system got locked out. It's all good. All good. Bye, goodness, Lord. It's been Can't lovely. See you soon. Lovely time exploring uh, Wilderness Lodge and got the pin and got a cupcake. Got a refill. Yeah, so it's such a nice resort. So for us, we want to go back there. We're now heading back to Caribbean Beach, um, our other favorite resort. <laughs> Joffrey's. But, uh, we have to say, um, Caribbean Beach has been an exceptional resort and we would, the only minor thing is the Wi-Fi speed, but we can cope with 4G. Um, but we have loved staying here and I think it's definitely one that we'll be returning to. Yeah, hopefully when we return, it's when we return, we will get the same block with Jamaica. I think that's what we'd we'll... request. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to um, head back to the resort now, maybe get a Joffrey's. Maybe, we we'll definitely. Definitely, missed my Joffrey's yesterday, we didn't get one. And then we're going to just chill for a bit and maybe go down by the pool or the beach. Yeah. So yeah, it's lovely yeah. right now, it's 81 degrees. It is beautiful. Joffrey's Rich's Strawberry Slash is ready. Ta-da! Happy about that, haven't you? I've never I'm had so much... So you've never had so much Strawberry Slash. I know. Okay. So, I said to Rich, do you want to go to Hollywood Studios or Epcot? And he's like, I'll go where you want to go. And I said, no. Which park do you want to go to? Make a decision. Okay, Hollywood Studios or Epcot, where do you want to go? <laughs> I don't have the pressure of the camera on me right now. That's why the camera is helping me out. Um, you've got to pick one. I can't pick. Which one do you want to go to? Okay, we're going to Epcot. Okay, we're going heading okay. out. We're going to Epcot. After much debate. Much debate. On my part. <laughs> Let's go. Out and it is so warm. It's a bit slippery there. It's currently 78 degrees or something. It is lovely. It is <laughs> I've so nice. missed it so much. Um, we're going to the Skyliner. We're going to. Which park are we going to? We're going to Epcot. Epcot. I'm currently on my Disney experience looking up dinner, dinner reservations. I'm not yeah. being antisocial. <laughs> this is completely on the whim. So we're going to now see if we can get any fast passes. The Grand Fiesta Tour is showing 15 minutes. We may well ride that as well. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to go see what we can do. We just bumped into a really lovely couple. Literally just arrived. <laughs> just arrived, like fresh off the plane. Yeah. Like guys just so lucky to be just arriving, um, looking for their room. So we were trying our best to help them navigate around the resort. <laughs> <laughs> As if we know where, where, where it is. I said, we've only been here nearly two weeks. We should know our way around. It took us ages to find everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're heading to Epcot. Um, we're going to go our favourite mode of transport, the, the Skyliner. Sky <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This is like a New Year's Eve line right here. <laughs> Quite a queue. I actually beat Luke through security. You went for the no bag line and I actually beat you beat going through the bag line. And I always offer to go through the bag line. By the you way. do, yeah, yeah. So we are just coming into International Gateway right now. And I realise I haven't got a picture of Spaceship Earth at night, so we need to head up on my new phone, the camera, I love the quality. So we're going to head towards Canada, down to get a quick picture, and then round to Mexico. And I'm just heading through the UK pavilion right now. We've got the Rose and Crown there. First country of the night. Which we still haven't been to. We need to do that on our next trip. Okay. Let's have a menu. Let's have a look at the menu. Let's go and have a look. So we've got United Kingdom cheese platter. Scotch Yeah, fish and chips, bangs and mash, shepherd's pie, all the lovelies. Yeah, shepherd's pie. I could go for that right now. And the Canada far and wide is coming soon. 
which replaces the old Can O Canada show. Hasn't yeah. It? Which we only saw like not too long ago for the first time. Oh Canada! <laughs> So we love Canada, we love Canada and we want to go back and we really want to do like Vancouver, Vancouver Island. Because we've done Toronto, haven't we? Yeah. We can't go up there today, so we'll look in the shop. Yeah. Let's go in the shop. So we're going into Northwest Mercantile. So we've got some soap here, some uh, Prince Edward Island raspberry cordial and fruity treats. I think it's like a soap bar. Um, also checking out some of the um, some of the clothes they've got. I actually really like this. Uh, it's like checkered red jumper and t-shirt as well. All oh, the maple goodness as well. They've got maple caramels and also maple cream. I know. Oh, that looks so cozy there. that would be really good for the winter. Is that maple lolly? Yeah. All oh, the maple goodness. Can you believe it? We have like two days of holiday left and we're only going in mouse gear right now. It's mouse gear. Mouse gear, Is yes. Mouse Apparently gear? one time I said mouse gears. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> so we're <laughs> heading into mouse gear without the S. Okay, it, it is much quieter than I thought it was going to be. So hopefully this is going to be quite a pleasant experience. Alien sipper cup. I love that. Look at that alien sipper cup. That is cute. See, I knew there was a reason why we were coming in here. <laughs> you can have that little alien in there. Oh, so sweet. Also, continuing the alien theme, you can have this, like, enormous space crane with lots of alien friends in there. It says three plus, but let's face it, that's for adults as well. Still debating this key holder. <laughs> We've seen this a few times. We saw this in Disney Springs the other day, didn't we? We didn't buy it. $24.99. Oh, it's so tempting. Should we buy it? Shouldn't we buy it? Mm. That's cool. So it's like a, a desk at a sign, yeah. yeah. If you can dream it, you can do it. And don't just fly saw. Don't just fly. Oh, I love these. And How there's one more. There's twelve. Is there one more? Off with their heads. Off with their one. heads. <laughs> oh, I need this on my desk at work. How much are these? Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Also, they've got this really cool. I'm looking for a once upon a time door hanger, as if you're in like a hotel somewhere. And I found my happily ever after. I love this. $7.99. The only thing with these. So, a where dreams come true, like number plate attachment, and this is $24.99. It's very heavy. Oh. Gotta love the little floor in Epcot. You gotta do this at night. It's so amazing. Great. Oh, picture. we're approaching Space Jabber. It looks so good. We need to get that picture. We need to get that picture. <laughs> I'm just vlogging Luke in action now, getting his photo. He's trying to get these palm trees in with Spatial Perth. I did it. I think it adds something. You did it. Yeah, but I think it looks better. I think that one looks better. Yeah. yeah. We're good now, though. We're good to We're go. good. We're heading into the Epcot experience. We did this in September, but it was so good. We're going to do it again. Away, 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 away. The Epcot experience. Having a little peek at the Epcot experience. I know I'm going back. And this is just the beginning. World culture to the celebration of humanity. It is a place full of wonders. Let's go discover them together. The trail to explore where water is alive and waiting to play. experience is a great place to go if you want to check out what's coming new to Epcot in the next like three or four years I'll yeah. say. Ratatouille, Ratatouille, Moana, Moana. Moana. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Yeah. There's some cool photo opportunities in there as well which we did vlog on our September trip. Yes. Um, we've got some great photos of the family. But now we're going into the busy bit. So yes. Yes. Next up is the Mexico Pavilion. We're going to see if we can get on the Grand Fiesta tour. It's currently showing, I think, 15 minutes, so we're going to go and see if that's accurate or not and hopefully get on it. Here we go, hopefully going on the Grand Fiesta tour boat cruise. Yay! Oh, those steps just make me want to run up there right now. <laughs> uh, did they do that? Oh, that's crazy. I wouldn't actually do that. Serious comment, I wouldn't actually do that. Oh, look. It's Coco. 
uh, still got the Christmas decorations up in the Mexico pavilion. Okay, this is alright. I expected this to be filled with sea of people. Let's see if we can get on the line. Currently in the queue for the Grand Fiesta tour. Looks like we're going to do it. It's posting a 20 minute wait. That's not too bad. And we've got to get it done because we didn't do it in uh, September. It's the three Caballeros. 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 Almost there. To be fair, it hasn't been 20 minutes. It's been like 10. Yeah, it's been 10 minutes. 10 minutes, not bad. in that is definitely the fireworks that are on the ceiling. I just yeah. love that effect. So good. So we're just making our way around World Showcase. It is very, very busy. Yes. Um, but we're looking for somewhere to have food. Yeah, we don't have a solution yet. We have <laughs> ideas, but each presents a problem. So I'm, take, I'm taking a picture in each country. <laughs> so we're living for that right Let's now. Let's go for China now. We're stopping to appreciate the China Pavilion right now because how good does that reflection look? And which song's reflection? <laughs> Who is that girl I see? <laughs> Mulan! Just for full clarity, I can't sing. <laughs> it's gonna go on X Factor. No, I'm not going on X Factor, no way. We arrived at Germany, a bit closer to home. Yeah, let's go see the pickle tree. <laughs> yeah, let's go see the pickle tree. I wonder if some people are thinking, the pickle tree? Like, what is that? <laughs> is over here. I feel like we have to buy one, just because it's something we always point out. You guessed it, caramel couche. Oh, the line is absolutely huge, so we're just gonna nip in and have a few look at little bits. These chocolates are so good. We made it to Italy. So Luke's getting his Italian picture. We're having memories of Villa Napoli. We could go for that right now, but we are not gonna get a reservation tonight, so we are the search continues for dinner options. Oh yes, that is such a good picture. How awesome does that look? We're getting treated with some fireworks just over there. We're at the Japan Pavilion right now. And we're getting this awesome view of Spaceship Perth through the Tory Gate. I feel like we need to update you on what we're doing for dinner tonight. We're We've been to in our own. in Ample Hills now. Which so. is a little bit of a opposite ways we're gonna have sweet before savory but we're on holiday so <laughs> wedding holiday <laughs> so yeah ample hills and then we're gonna head back to our food court at caribbean beach yeah it was very busy in uh, at court, as we expected it to be yeah we got on grand fiesta tour so i'm so happy yes so ample hills so ample hills slightly busy but i'm gonna try and zoom in on the menu i think luke's going for the chocolate milk and cookies and i'm gonna go for the ooey gooey butter cake. Oh, we're picking up Luke's pizza right now. Some pizza from the pizza. The pizza window at Boardwalk. So Luke's gone for a pepperoni pizza. So the plan is to take this back to the hotel. So unfortunately, Ample Hills will have to wait till next time because the queue is just so big and was going so slow. Yeah, we waited like 15 minutes and didn't move. But what do you have? So I had a pizza. Pizza. So we're probably going to settle on a Mickey Premium bar, right? Yes, we're gonna head back to the resort. Rich's gonna have chicken tenders. Yeah. Back on the Skyliner, everyone. Please, 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 please,
Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort. If you are just oh, joining us, yeah. we are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Disney's concerts are so far away. You see the contemporary way out there, just, you can see the castle way. We are now sailing over Disney's it's Caribbean. Like chilling in bed now, watching a movie. I'm not sure what movie it is, but it's funny. <laughs> Still the rock in it. Yeah. So yeah, nice chilled evening. Um, had a really good day, didn't we? Really good, yeah. So we will sign off now and see you guys tomorrow for the last full day. It's going to be good. It's going to be good.